It's good to be back for another Data at Question Time event and especially good because you are yet again moderating for us. And tonight we were trying to tackle sort of digital transformation in travel. What was the highlights for you? It's difficult to say. I mean, I always want people to disagree with each other and, we, and for us to get some debate. I think we had some debate. I think the panellists were... They weren't so much disagreeing, but they have different points of view. Travel is, is a transformative kind of business on the sense that pretty much everything that happens impacts us, whether it be innovation or, or industry affairs, um, and we're constantly evolving. I guess the big way we think about digital transformation is in terms of setting up the conditions for continuous improvement uh, in our business. There, there's, there's the question of whether what's the cost of not doing it, but there's also the question of what is it that should be done. I think a lot of people are afraid of making the wrong decision, so then they end up making no decision. And I think what the panel uh, illustrated very clearly is that actually no decision is worse than, than making the wrong decision. It's better to make a wrong decision and learn than not. It's not actually a person, there's a whole team of people that have come in under the Chief Technology Officer, so that is their primary role. Um, and actually they've all come from digital companies. Um, so I think again that's the most exciting bit for me, always working in a traditional company to see these people come in with their ideas, you know, and how they're going to transform the company. We have travellers who in their day jobs are booking a, a business trip, going home in the evening and booking a, a holiday, and they expect the same experience. So we're trying to bring a more aesthetically pleasing experience to the corporate space. One of the biggest models we look to at Skyscanner right now is Tmall and in just in general we look to China first rather than say Silicon Valley just because we think the speed of innovation out there is faster and we also think the conditions are pretty interesting. The consumers there are more forward in terms of technology than what we see in the West so that's why uh, China is very interesting for us. I think the biggest thing that uh, you can do or any company can do when they're going through this, uh, we've now got a social intranet. So before it was very siloed. We had an intranet site, yes of course. We've gone social intranet um, and they are really getting that message across uh, to all of the people that work for the company, why we're doing it, how it's going to work, what it will look like. Um, and actually back to one of the panel points was talking about we've got this company, but we actually do also encourage all of our employees, we have uh, something called CWT Spark, to actually register and say, you know, if you've got a great idea, tell us. And we're really seriously considerate in the innovation team. I think the focus on what other organisations are doing really came through. I think there's, uh, there is an element, and I think the football managers always say it's about us, it's about our game and how we execute our game plan. And I think one of the things that came through this evening was it, the, the, the amount of focus other organisations have on the competitive marketplace and trying to learn from that and bring that into their game plan I think was, a, was a, a common thing. I think a lot of people who are risk uh, averse in terms of technology, they don't understand the potentials uh, in terms of, uh, of how little can go how far. Uh, and I think a lot of the examples of the panel were, were showing that they'd made uh, you know, small changes or they'd made uh, uh, evolutions like, like um, C, uh, CWT. CWT, you know, had simply just brought in a CTO from external, from outside the, the area, and now they're, they're transforming massively in a short amount of time. Well, I spent six years in retail before hospitality, and there's a lot of similarity, but I think if you look at um, how retail has responded to the disruption of Ebays and Amazons, um, and how they've executed in terms of, of digital and physical coming together in a, in a customer proposition that's transformed the way consumers behave, then I think, yeah, it's, it's an exemplar of what we should be thinking about in terms of hospitality. I, th I think the moderator makes a huge difference because if they're not asking the right questions or, or getting that right level of participation, it can be a very dry, one-sided type of event, there's no doubt about that. At the same time, I think the audience itself helps on the basis that there are people in the room who are actually genuinely interested in the, the subject matter, um, and I think Data Art do a good job of sort of bringing those two together.